Good morning, sluts. I'm here with a new intro and a picture of two men dressed as women that we need to talk about. Kappa. Now, if you are a YouTube creator and you are not aware of Kappa, you need to be. Okay, this is a very serious situation. That's why I'm uploading this on Friday instead of Monday because people need to know about this. So the very basics of it is basically the FCC a really long time ago, I think in like the 70s or the 90s or something like that, made a rule about the internet. Basically saying that websites could not collect data from kids without their parents' permission. The FCC found out YouTube's been getting away with this for a pretty long time. You know, because for a while YouTube's like, oh no, YouTube, YouTube Kids doesn't do that. But there's a million ways to get out of that. You can use your parents, you can use the account unsigned in, you can, I don't know. There's a lot of different ways to get around the rule. Y'all see the size of these hoops? Okay, I mean business. So I am going to put up a little document that I found on Twitter about COPPA. If you are a video creator, I suggest you pause and read it in its entirety if you have not seen it before, because I'm going to be referencing it pretty heavily in the video. So why am I making this video? Easy, because one of the things that COPPA says dictates children's content is pets. Whether that's pet focused content, whether that's just, you know, making a vlog and showing yourself walking your dog, but the video isn't actually about the dog, it's just a vlog about your life. Unknown. We don't know because a politician wrote this, although to be fair, it would not be more easier if YouTube wrote it instead. YouTube's a mess. What can I say? And now, you know, the majority of my subscribers are from when I was a pet tuber. Claiming that pets qualifies under COPPA rules means this. It means that pet videos are still monetizable. However, they will not be receiving personalized ads. Now, the big difference between other ads and personalized ads is personalized ads make about 80% more than regular ads. Meaning that this is basically a problem of money. By the way, something I forgot to mention is that along with personalized ads being removed from these videos, they are also not going to be recommended. So these videos essentially will be suppressed and also the comments will not be the same on these videos either. So it is going to be pretty big impact, not just on pet two, but I would argue the whole platform. Which, you know, for most people it's like, oh, who cares about the money? Well, YouTube is hard. <laughs> Creators should be paid for their labor. There is a link that I'm going to leave in the description where you can leave comments on the, I think it's the FCC website, not quite sure, where you could leave comments about COPPA if you're a YouTube creator and this is going to affect you, I highly suggest you comment and you share it with other people because I'm gonna be honest here, PetTube's not like a mainstream thing. We aren't going to get the same protection against things like this, like say the makeup community. Like if the makeup community was at risk, YouTube would probably try to go to bat for them. PetTube is not the same. Like it's not a mainstream niche. So if you are a creator, I would look into changes you can make so that you can still make content and abide by COPPA guidelines. I am doing some changes as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and finally change my YouTube channel from Winds of the Dragon to my name Megan Mulder. Winds of the Dragon just sounds sort of mythical and stuff like that, and it is, you know, it's Winslow. He's a, you know, little demonic potato. I'm probably gonna change the profile picture to be me and not my lizard, because that's a pet, which really sucks, because I know that a lot of people who follow me enjoy seeing Winslow. They enjoy seeing my pets. You know, I do have an Instagram with Winslow that can't show any of my pets on YouTube, I can probably post them there a little bit more. If you are a YouTube creator, if you are a pet tuber, I would look into the possibility of maybe double niching. Maybe starting now to sort of shift your content to something that isn't going to be subject to COPPA rules. Because if you are doing this for a paycheck, if you this is your livelihood, you need to protect yourself first. On plants! I know a lot of pet tubers like plants as well. I am one of those. Guess what? Plants aren't for children. This is Miss Cracker. She's named after a drag queen. Obviously not for children. What are some other um, things about her? She's a lesbian. There you go. We all know how <laughs> we all know how YouTube feels about that. 
uh, probably demonetized by now. And you know, there are a lot of ridiculous things also about this. They're talking about how it can't be bright and flashy, and the website can't be super colorful, it can't have language that kids under the age of 12 couldn't understand, there's no animations, there's no slang, which is completely ridiculous. Like, people use slang, adults use slang. Look at the LGBTQ plus community. What's the T? Shade. Queen. Wig. Okay? The LGBTQ plus community gave us all of those great sayings that I'm hearing adults say on the regular. I mean, YouTube, we already know you're in a lawsuit against the LGBTQ plus community. So how are they gonna feel when they find out you're, you know, censoring their slang as well? Because language is actually a very powerful tool. If you want to wipe out a community, you take out their language first. Cultural anthropology right there, using that degree. You know, recently I'm sure you've seen that I have shifted my content to me being the subject. That's also why I'm not filming my bathroom, okay? Because they said no colorful themes, okay? My bathroom is hot pink and has rainbow lights on it. Because I love color, like, I don't mind the gray. I don't mind it. You know, I mean, I did it when I was depressed, but I don't mind the gray. I would just like more color. No longer depressed. I want color. I want pink. Or I can just hold this picture frame like this the entire time because I know this is not child appropriate. <laughs> but considering YouTube did not pick up on it um, in the last video that I was holding it, and they didn't demonetize that, clearly it's still monetizable. So maybe we'll get more information in the following weeks. Maybe we won't this month and next month do keep your eyes on news about this because it's not gonna be pretty. YouTube, we've been saying YouTube's been gonna, gonna collapse into itself for a while. I think this could do it. You know, like, let's, let's be honest here. There's, it's not just pets that I think fall into that weird sort of middle category, that category where it's not child targeted for the most part. I'm not saying all of them aren't child targeted. I would say most of them aren't child targeted, but they are child friendly and it's like where do you draw that line because being child friendly means you get monetized being too child friendly means that you get terrible monetization and it's this great balancing act that it's not like youtube's gonna tell us how to do it you know like we're gonna have to find out through trial and error purely y'all need to watch out i'm gonna keep it real y'all need to watch out and that's really all i got for you on this fine friday now i made a joke about twitter about my outro i have a new outro too if thou does not hit the subscribe button, thou will be burnt at the stake for being a witch. Actually, witches are pretty lit. What else did people get burned for? If thou shall not hit the subscribe button, thou shall be sentenced to damnation. I feel like kids under 12 can understand that. They have TV. But now there's reasonable doubt. Getting out of that fine. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Uh, make sure you follow me on all my social medias. Because I don't know what's happening with this channel. Might have to just start a whole new channel. Don't know yet. I'm gonna figure it out. Bye.